Hi, I'm Rachel. I work at the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland and we've heard you are all going wild about worms. So we've teamed up with EcoSchool Scotland to create a video so that you can make your very own wormery with your family, with your class, with your community group. And don't panic, you don't even need to touch these fantastic ambassadors for recycling if you don't want to. I hear you ask, why worms? Well, worms are recycling ambassadors that will help you teach anyone and everyone about the importance of mini beasts. They're also great for explaining how worms recycle green waste in nature, compost heaps, and of course, in wormeries. You could make a wormery with your class or with an eco schools committee or your school council or green team or community group or even your family at home. Creating and maintaining a wormery directly links to biodiversity and interdependence in the curriculum. You can also teach about reducing and recycling food waste and the topic ties in with multiple eco-schools topics or class themes, including waste minimization in general, school grounds maintenance, biodiversity and food and the environment. Finally, a wormery takes the waste and makes free compost and free liquid fertilizer for growing, which could be used on site or you could even sell it for charity. I'm glad you're convinced. So what will you need? You'll need some composting worms, which can be ordered in the post. Two boxes that fit together or more if you want extra levels, some compost and some food waste, an electric drill or hand drill with drill bit, an optional tap if you want to be able to collect the worm tea, which is the liquid fertilizer that comes off. And finally, plenty of newspaper or cardboard to add in over time. With your group, start by drilling holes around the top of one box and in the base of this box. If you want multiple levels, do this for all but one of your boxes. Always leave one box with no holes in for the worm tea, and this is the bottom box on the wormery. Make a tap hole as low down as possible in the bottom box if you're using a tap. Or you can just empty the bottom box into a jug every so often if you don't have a tap. Help your group fill your top box with some compost or soil. Make sure you add plenty of newspaper and cardboard. Add the worms gently and then include some of your kitchen waste. The kitchen waste you add can include crushed eggshells, tea bags, most vegetables, just not onion or garlic, fruits and other leftovers such as breadcrumbs and pasta. Avoid dairy products and meat and check our list for more details. Once your group's wormery is ready to go, you can put it up on two bricks and cover it with cardboard. Keep it somewhere close to the kitchen or hall, somewhere sheltered and warm between five and 20 degrees Celsius. Over winter, you can wrap it with old carpet or cardboard and put it in the shed. And during each school holiday, tear up plenty of cardboard and paper from the recycling, make sure it's really moist and pop it in to keep them going. If you're using multiple layers, you can add the food to the next layer once the compost on the first layer is full, and then the worms will move up into it automatically and you can have that compost for the garden, and you just keep cycling the layers around. If you have a tap, you can turn the tap to release the worm tea or pour that directly out of the bottom box, and then you just need to dilute that to a ratio of about one to 10. That dilution can then be used around all your vegetables and other plants on site. Remember, the most important rule is little and often to keep the worms happy. Make sure they've got plenty of newspaper and cardboard, as well as your kitchen food waste. You can now go wild about worms. You could even link making and caring for a wormery into a health and well-being topic. 
You could have worm monitors to help feed and check them. You could create a design project, constructing models and improvements for a wormery. Your class could even write a point of view diary. The worm possibilities are endless. So good luck going wild about worms from Keep Scotland Beautiful and RZSS Discovery and Learning.